I'm Dr. Dan Gartenberg again, evaluating the Wesper device for um, diagnosing sleep apnea. So this is my third night of tracking. You only need three nights in order to get a diagnosis. And again, this is showing that I really might have a problem with my breathing throughout the night. So I started to do work, probably this is my worst night, I was averaging 13 events per hour. And um, while my snoring was okay, you know, sleep apnea can exist even if you don't snore. Um, so even though my snoring seemed to be okay, I was still having these breathing events. And, you know, I recently gained weight. Um, you know, I've had a test done, I've had a polysomnography test done in the past that didn't show an issue, but since then I had gained more than 20 pounds. So I'm thinking that this might be one of the causal factors in me not breathing correctly throughout the night. Um, in addition to CPAP and the device a dentist can make, weight loss and not drinking alcohol or other behavioral things that can be done to address this issue. But it really seems like I do have an issue, so now it's time for me to speak to a Wesper consultant to see what they have to say. Um, and it's very affordable, it's only $50 to speak to one of their consultants, and they give you this detailed report here uh, and uniquely, they'll be able to tell what position you are having the issue on. Sometimes you can have positional sleep apnea. Basically, you don't want to usually sleep on your back. It can be worse for some people. Sometimes it happens in certain stages of sleep as well. So I'm going to speak to um, the Wesper consultant and then actually uh, see if I can get diagnosed based on what they say. So that's what we'll do in the final video. We'll see what the consultant says and I will um, get my diagnosis. Okay, so wish me luck. I hope uh, it's, I'm, I can maintain my health to some degree here and that this is helpful for others who want to really get on top of their cardiovascular health as sleep apnea is so related to our cardiovascular system, also related to things like dementia, you know, sleep impacts basically everything. So this is something I really want to stay on top of. All right, have a good sleep.